Good morning. We have uh, done most of our morning camp chores. Just making some coffee. I don't think this coffee isn't being made all around. Um, I think all of us agreed that we slept warmer last night, even though the thermometer showed that it was colder than the night before. Uh, pretty good sleep. Uh, everyone was sleeping on an angle, so sliding off their pads and such. But uh, we have a big day, big day planned for today. We're going, we're leaving H8. We're gonna finish up at H21. I think it's at three narrows. So uh, the most kilometers that we've done so far, um, I think it's we're slated to do 15 kilometers. And uh, yeah, get ready for our uh, first 15 kilometer day. Hey buddy. Hey, buddy. We're just trying to walk through there. You want to move, bud? He's actually pretty big. He's going to have ads on. He's oh, about, he's shit. About to he's going to run in our direction, oh. bro. Okay, so we're about uh, 3.8 kilometers in the day. I think this is Three Narrows, no? What? Three Narrows Lake. Um, don't quote me on the lake. I haven't looked at a map in a while. Marco, over there, getting a snack break. And uh, kind of hugging this lake here. It's pretty beautiful. We are uh, 5.7 kilometers in. There's opening at Three Narrows. Beautiful looks. Getting some water, taking the load off. 5.7 kilometers in, this is what you see. All right. Stopping for lunch at uh, H17. This is actually a pretty nice sight here. Fire pit over there, Marco. Beautiful view of the lake here. This is uh, campsite H17. We've done uh, 6.8. 6.8 kilometers on the day so far. Not a bad day so far. All right, so we, uh, the halfway point. Marco, making some food, I assume. Hmm? Tuna, what is that? It's uh. Mexican food. Mexican tuna. Cochinita pibil. And uh, there's Puyan in his hammock. And uh, got some bone broth. Relaxing at, oh, there's a loon in the water. Can you see that? Probably can't see that. Ooh. Yeah, it's relaxing at uh, H17. Actually a uh, very nice, very nice campsite. Here we are, we're uh, 11 kilometers in our day. 
Right. We've had a couple breaks. We saw for lunch, Marco. We are, this was the kind of slog that we had to go through pretty much. Um, although walking along three now is nice, but uh, this is the kind of trail we had to go through this, most of this 11 kilometers. Up and down hills and uh, more hills to come. So there you go. We are uh, 14.76 kilometers on the day. Marco's feeling good. Feeling good. We're at uh, 232 meters of elevation. Overlooking this kind of outlook here. And I think we have more pointless ups and downs ahead. Almost, almost to camp at uh, age 21. Okay, it was a long day today, over seven hours of hiking, should have taken us five. We did 16.52 kilometers. Uh, this is site H21, which once you get off the trail, feels like its own day hike to get here. Marco, feeling good? No. Feeling excellent there, look at him getting a load off. And then, uh, there's Puyan in his hammock. Uh, the site has beautiful views. We're a little bit in like in a peninsula here. We have a lake all the way around 360. Uh, 10 spots look like they're gonna be tough though. But um, yeah, it was a long day today. I think uh, the longest so far. Unfortunately, I think we have three longer days coming up. So I think uh, pretty much everyone's plan is to eat, get some early sleep, wake up early tomorrow to start out a little bit earlier than we did today.
All right. Getting ready for dinner. I think the plan is dinner than bed, but uh, we got a mountain house. Sweet and sour pork with rice. Um, smells good. Smells super sweet. Sweet and sour pork with rice. I think it's pineapples in there maybe. That's pretty good. The rice is okay. I like it. I would do this again. I think we're going with an eight. Sweet and sour mountain house pork with rice. Okay. All right. All right, today I got my spicy sausage bolognese from Alpine Air. It's gonna be the first uh, first taste for you guys. From the looks, looks uh, pasta looks really good. Sauce looks really good as well. Okay, I give it a uh, eight and a half. Ooh, that's maybe nine. Shit, the that's sauce, the best so far. The sauce is uh, the sauce is on point, huh? Sauce is on point. Has it got some kick? I'll dent. Nah, okay, actually, yeah, eight point five. No eight, kick, but eight point five. Eight point five. Eight point five. <clears throat> Just uh, closing out the day in my tent here. Just past nine o'clock. Didn't have a fire tonight. I think we were just too tired <laughs> to get that going. Um, did 16 and a half kilometers today, uh, including some side trails and some backtracking because uh, got lost. Uh, so 16 and a half, which, you know, on the map is supposed to take us five hours, took us about seven. Uh, I'm not going to lie, probably the last three, four kilometers, pretty gassed, significantly slowed down the pace, probably by a kilometer an hour from what we were doing initially. And um, tomorrow is uh, not as big a day, but more difficult a day. I think we're doing 11 kilometers tomorrow. Uh, we're currently at um, age 21. Tomorrow we're going to go to age 33 which um, is only supposed to be about 11 kilometers. But on the map, it says it should take seven hours. So if we're behind the map's pace, you know, who knows? Maybe take us 10 hours with breaks. So uh, we're trying to get an early start. We've got our alarm set for six in the morning because uh, we've been leaving pretty late uh, after all the morning dilly-dallying. So hopefully we can get an early start. I think we have to get early starts from here on out because uh, just tougher days ahead, uh, longer hours. But um, but no, feels good. Happy to be out here. Um, great group of guys to do this with. And uh, just enjoying myself. Um, yeah, the hiking experience... I mean, um, just rewarding, you know, rewarding, putting uh, in, in the hard work to uh, to be out here where, you know, I guess few, few, can, few can do. Um, but yeah, closing out the day, uh, just like I said, early to bed and hopefully early to rise and... Um, and yeah, that's it for day three. So, the hardest days are yet to come. So, um, have a good night. We'll see you in the morning.